Hey friends, Ash here with Gin Sense. Hope you're doing really well. Today we're gonna to be going over five different fragrances that are a great bang for your buck, assuming you buy them from a discounter and not at full retail. I did a version of this back in January of this year, I believe, and when I did that video, which was, again, just great bang for your buck fragrances, I told you guys that there were a bunch of other ones that I needed to cover and would be doing in the future, and this is a follow-up to that video. Some of these fragrances are gonna get you a similar vibe, similar smell to more expensive niche fragrances, and other fragrances here are just really nice quality, fantastic smelling scents that don't cost all that much. So let's jump into it. Let's check out these five fragrances that in my opinion are some of the best bang for your buck scents that you can buy. All right, first up, we have this one right here, 1920, The Origin. Kind of an interesting bottle. It's got this copper metallic plate at the bottom and then glass at the top. This one has cumin tea, cedar cardamom, and bergamot as some of the notes in the fragrance. And this one has more than a fleeting similarity to Declaration from Cartier. So what does that mean? It means that this is a fresh, woody, spicy fragrance that also has a hint of underlying sweetness to it, but it's gonna be more of a, a gentlemanly fragrance, a little bit more sophisticated, grown up, refined, whatever you wanna call it. Now, as I mentioned, this has cumin as one of the main notes in the fragrance. Some people don't really like that note so much. They see that in a fragrance and they go, mm, I'm gonna pass. I'm, I'm gonna get to take a walk on that one, no thanks. And if you're unfamiliar with how cumin smells, you might be like, well, well why would that be? Cumin is just the spice, right? Yes, yes it is. But it can sometimes have a tendency to smell like body odor. <laughs> yeah, sweat, underarm sweat, or other sweat. <laughs> but don't worry, the cumin in here does not come across that way to me. So I don't think you have anything to worry about if you're scared of that note or you don't like it. Actually, that tea and cedar come out a lot in this as it dries down through the mid and the base. And those are some of the notes that I really focus in on myself. As I said, the fragrance does have a, a touch of sweetness. So you get a little bit of that from the cardamom in here, but not a huge amount. The cardamom here is not gonna be that, you know, super sexy, sweet, spicy type of cardamom. It's a little bit greener here. The quality in this fragrance is really nice. And for the price, you can't go wrong again assuming you get it from a discounter. Up next, let's go with one of the tried and true bang for your buck fragrances, Bentley for Men Intense. It's got rum, incense, woods, and leather, and this is one of the fragrances that does smell similar to some niche scents out there. So this one is gonna give you that similar scent profile to some more expensive fragrances like Idole de Louvain and Olfactive Studio Chambre Noir, only without that big niche price. This at discounters, is a great buy. And you're not sacrificing anything in terms of performance either because the performance of this fragrance is well above average also. This is one of the most hyped cheap fragrances in the entire fragrance community and for a good reason. Stuff is amazing, fantastic in winter, fantastic in fall. It is strong, like I said before, so if you're not accustomed to really powerful fragrances, especially ones that have a big emphasis on spices and woods, then this one may take some getting used to. You've got that smokiness from the incense in here, which is fantastic. The rum gives it a nice little boozy touch. It is a great scent, but it is not the only great scent in the Bentley for Men line. I'm not gonna go over the other ones here in this video today, but if you're curious, you can search them out. Bentley for Men Absolute, very, very solid. And I would say that's the next one you should check out other than Bentley for Men Intense. And if you like the fragrance Bentley for Men Intense, but you want something that is not as intense, <laughs> Just get Bentley for Men. It's got a similar scent profile to this one. It's just a little bit dialed back, rounded off. Up next, we've got this one from Guerlain, L'Instant de Guerlain Pour Homme, and this is the Eau de Toilette. Every time I bring this fragrance up, I have to tell you guys, it will not come in a bottle like this if you buy the fragrance now. This bottle style is no more. Instead, it's gonna look like this right here. This is what the Guerlain, L'Instant de Guerlain fragrances come in now in terms of the bottle shape and style. There's also an Eau de Parfum version of this fragrance that used to be called L'Instant de Guerlain Extreme or just Lidge, but now it's just L'Instant de Guerlain Pour Homme Eau de Parfum. So there's an EDT and an EDP. 
This one has lemon, star anise, cacao, and patchouli. For a long time, I've talked about this fragrance and said how it's one of the best buys that you can make. If you want a fragrance that's gonna set you apart, that's gonna have you smelling well put together like a million bucks, but you don't want to actually spend a million bucks, yeah, this is one of the best ones you can get. The lemon comes out in this initially, but this is not really a fresh fragrance. You just get a little, little touch of it in the opening. The star anise is a really prominent note in here, but what really, brings it all together is the cacao and the patchouli. Now patchouli, depending on how it's used, can come across smelling chocolatey. So the way the patchouli note in this fragrance is mixed with that cacao note is awesome. It is so good though. It's a surprisingly big compliment puller and a fantastic night out fragrance or date night fragrance even. Next up, we got this one from Banana Republic, Neroli Woods. This has neroli, sandalwood, cedar, and orange blossom as some of the notes in the fragrance. And like happens a lot, this gets compared to Tom Ford's neroli portofino. Now I said that happens a lot. What I mean by that is a lot of times when you have a fragrance and it's centered around neroli, it automatically gets compared to neroli portofino. It's like neroli portofino has become the benchmark for neroli fragrances. And so when people smell Neroli in a scent, they're like, hey, Neroli Portofino. Could have also put in Bright Neroli from Ferrari into this list. That fragrance, really nice, great bang for your buck as well. But I think this one, Neroli Woods, is right there with it. Neroli Woods is part of the Banana Republic Icon line, which you might not think would be that good because this is Banana Republic, just kind of a mall clothing store. Gets overlooked a lot of times in terms of their fragrances. But the Icon line has some real stunners in there. Not all of them, not all of them. Some of the fragrances in the Icon line don't work well for me. My two favorites though, Neroli Woods and 78 Vintage Green. Those are both really good. And in terms of what you can pick these up for at discounters, they are worth it, hands down. Now, as I mentioned, this does get compared to Neroli Portofino. Not the exact same as Neroli Portofino, but for the price, this will give you a really, really similar feel to that fragrance and save you a ton of money. And you would wear this pretty much every single place that you would wear in a Roli Portofino. It is office safe. Nobody is gonna dislike this. It's fresh, it's clean, a little bit soapy. You can wear this in spring, you can wear this in summer. It's more of a daytime fragrance than an evening fragrance, but because Neroli is so easy to pull off, so effortless, really you could pull it off doing about anything. You could pull this one off formally if you had to. You could also wear it on a date because like I mentioned, it's really, really inoffensive. So it's a safe option just about anywhere, anytime. All right, last one, Hilm by Hane Mori. This one right here smells similar to Gucci Porom 2, which is now discontinued, unfortunately. F's in the chat, Gucci Porom, no! Gucci Porom 2 is one of my favorites for the longest time. Fantastic spring fragrance, it's so good. It is right here, right there. Now this one's not as immediately smooth as Gucci Porom 2. That one, as soon as you spray it on, it is just buttery smooth. This one, when you first spray it on, has a little bit of an alcohol hit off my skin, but that dissipates pretty quickly. It's got cinnamon, tonka, amber, and cedar as some of the notes. And Gucci Porom 2 is really well known for its tea note, which you do not find in this fragrance. And yet, with all the notes that this does have, they combine in a way that almost gives across that same tea feeling or vibe that Gucci Porom 2 had. This one is warm, spicy, and sweet. The cinnamon, the tonka, and the amber in here being some of the most prominent notes. It smells amazing once you get past that initial, you know, 30 seconds to a minute, that, that first blast is, like I said, a little sharp, a little alcoholic, but after that, it warms up a lot and gets you a close approximation to Gucci Porom 2, only at a much, 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 much lower price. Gotta say, the cap doesn't look very good. The bottle is kind of nondescript, but it's good what's inside here. There we go. Five more bang for your buck fragrances. They don't cost you all that much, but they smell like they should. I still have many more great bang for your buck fragrances that I wanna talk about in the future, so maybe you'll see another one of these in like three months, I don't know. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.